Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about Azure fundamental interview questions. So my first question is what is Azure cloud service? Azure is a public cloud computing platform with solutions including infrastructure as a service and a software as a service that can be used for services such as analytics, virtual computing, storage, networking, and much more. So it is an uh, online portal that allows you to access and manage cloud services and resources provided by Microsoft. So the services and resources uh, include storing your data and transforming it depending on your requirements. So this is called as a Azure cloud service. Okay. Next question is explain about web role. Uh, a web role is a cloud service role in Azure that is configured and customized to run web applications developed on programming languages and technologies that are supported by Internet Information Services that is called as a IIS, such as ASB.NET, uh, PHP, Windows Communication Foundation, and FOST CGI. And this is an automatically deploys and uh, host your app to IIS uh, that is called as a Internet Information Services, IIS. So next one is, what is guest operating system? Uh, a guest operating system is one that that is installed on virtual machine or partition disk. It is frequently distinct from the host operating system. So simply put, a host OS uh, runs on your hardware, whereas a guest OS runs on your virtual machine. So this is called as a guest operating system. Okay, so next question is explain Azure uh, Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager is the Azure Deployment and Management Service. It offers a management layer through which you can create, update, and delete your resources in your Azure account. After that deployment, you use uh, management services such as access control, locks, and tax to uh, secure and organize your resources. So, a resource manager is involved in uh, resource allocation, planning, uh, ensuring that all uh, company resources are used to their full potential. So this is include not only training and employee development, but also the management of additional resources such as uh, equipments and supplies. So this is called as a Azure resource manager. Okay, next one is name the web application types that can be deployed with Azure. Yes. The Azure web app support multiple programming languages and frameworks. And some of the uh, widely used languages are ASB.NET, Java, ASB.NET Core, uh, Ruby on Rails, and uh, Node.js, PHP, and also Python. So this is the uh, web application types that can be deployed with Azure. So next one is explain Azure Service Fabric. Azure Service Fabric is a distributed systems platform that makes scalable and reliable microservices and containers easy to package, uh, deploy, and manage. Service Fabric also addresses the significant challenge associated with the uh, development and management of cloud native applications. Service Fabric is also available as a free download for Windows servers, allowing, uh, I mean, allowing you to build a service uh, fabric clusters on your own or in, the, in their clouds. So this is the Azure Service Fabric. Okay, so next one is define the Azure Redis cache. Azure cache for Redis is an in-memory cache uh, that is fully managed and enables high performance and scalable architectures. Use it to create uh, cloud or hybrid deployments that handle millions of requests per second. At at sub milliseconds latency, all with the configurations, uh, security, and availability benefits of a managed service. So this is the Azure Redis catch. Next one is, what is the Windows Azure platform? Microsoft Windows Azure platform is a cloud housing service that allows you to store the data as well as build and connect apps. Uh, everything is stored in Microsoft Data Center and you only need to manage your application. The applications hosted on Windows Azure Cloud operating systems 
uh, this operating systems acts as a runtime environment for your application it cannot access directly but it can be interacted with the azure the i mean through azure portal if you have the ability to create edit and delete hosted services and the storage account and the sql uh, azure reporting capabilities are also available in this platform so next one is what is the difference between windows azure platform and windows azure okay so windows azure platform and windows azure are not the same thing windows azure platform is a service platform that includes windows azure sql azure and app fabric windows azure is microsoft cloud operating system and it's a uh, yeah, and it is a part of the azure platform so this is the difference between windows azure platform and windows azure okay so next one is what is uh, windows azure diagnostics the azure diagnostics vm extension allows you to collect monitoring data from your windows vm such as performance counters and even logs you can very specific about what data you want to collect and uh, where it should go such as an uh, azure storage account or and uh, i mean or an azure event hub so this is the windows azure diagnostics okay hope you all are enjoyed this video thank you all